The Millers are a family like any other. They use energy for heating, lighting, the washing machine, driving their car. The energy they consume mostly comes from fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas. For years, a lifestyle based on fossil fuels was normal. No one paid any attention to conserving resources or the potential impact on the environment. But one thing's for certain, the fuels we use today are destined to change the global climate and run out in the foreseeable future. We are already feeling the negative consequences of climate change. If we continue consuming fossil fuels at the current rate, oil may last another 60, gas 100 and coal 250 years. And the scarcer the resources, the more expensive energy will become. Even the extraction of oil, gas and coal is placing an increasing burden on the environment. And we are all responsible. Difficult for the millers. They need energy but want to avoid damaging the environment. They've heard of bioenergy, but is it affordable, environmentally friendly and technically mature? The supply of bioenergy is endless. It's key to the sustainable energy mix. Bioenergy has great potential, not just in Europe, but all over the world. But what exactly is bioenergy? Bioenergy, just like solar, wind and hydropower, counts as a renewable. It's generated using biomass. Biomass at first means wood, yet it also includes primary agricultural products. Think maize and organic waste such as slurry. The advantage? Bioenergy can be stored, thus facilitating on-demand use. Bioenergy produces electricity, heat and fuel. Because of these advantages, the German government is supporting the development of bioenergy. Bioenergy is already replacing oil, gas, fossil fuels and nuclear power. The criticism is also rife. Questions exist concerning food security, rainforest conservation, land use, costs and efficiency. Is such criticism justified? Food will always take priority, but bioenergy doesn't necessarily have to compete with foodstuffs. German farmers use 28% of their land for food production and more than half for growing livestock feed. A mere 12% is dedicated to bioenergy. Seen from a global perspective, only 2% of arable land is allocated to bioenergy needs. Indeed, tracts of unused arable land which could be turned over to bioenergy exist in many countries. And the rainforest? Rainforest is generally cleared for the production of livestock feed and foodstuffs. Bioenergy is mostly generated by the biomass produced locally in a particular region. These days, both domestic and imported biomass is subject to strict sustainability criteria. Independent certification schemes and monitoring systems ensure no biotope considered worthy of protection is destroyed in the name of biofuels. What about maize? One third of maize is cultivated for biogas, two thirds for feed. As a result, maize grown for biogas takes up just 7% of the available arable land in Germany. German legislation has now limited the use of maize in biogas plants. Biogas plants are only allowed to use a maximum of 60% of maize or grain as input substrates. From 2015 onwards, plants will no longer be granted a special subsidy for the use of either. More and more residues like slurry are coming into play. Energy plant alternatives are currently the focus of research and development. And how cost-effective is bioenergy? Bioenergy is efficient, affordable and competitive. At the same time, it supports local economies and gentrifies the area. Bioenergy brings many advantages for private and commercial consumers, for the environment and our climate. Thanks to the use of bioenergy, 65 million tonnes of CO2 are being saved in Germany alone. That's equal to the combined savings created by wind, solar and hydropower. EU legislation states that biofuels need to produce much lower levels of greenhouse gases than petrol and diesel, at least 35% less. Studies have shown there is space to increase the amount of land dedicated to biofuel production without endangering food supplies. Domestic bioenergy derived from energy plants, energy wood, agricultural byproducts and residues has the potential to provide up to a quarter of our future energy requirements. Along with the other renewables, bioenergy is set to play a key role in this new era of energy production. When it comes to ensuring a sustainable energy supply, bioenergy remains a major contender with considerable potential both now and in the future. We need to seize this opportunity. Bioenergy brings us a step closer to breaking free from our dependence on fossil fuels while facilitating on-demand use. It promises to protect the climate, provide jobs and boost local economies. Bioenergy is essential to the energy turnaround. 
So, back to the Millers. You can consume energy, live in harmony with nature and safeguard the quality of life for future generations with sustainably generated bioenergy, renewable heat, electricity and fuel. Think about it. Interested? Find out more here.